Let's learn in this video how to use Kubelogin to connect to the AKS cluster. Kubelogin is an open source project that will enable us to connect to the cluster using either a service principle, managed identity, workload identity, or the current Azure CLI user. Let's see how that works. Here I have an AKS cluster. I'm already logged into my Azure subscription. And when I want to connect to that AKS cluster, I will start first by AKS get credentials. And this will download the credentials into the cube config file. And from there, I can go to get the nodes of my cluster, for example, using kubectl. So at this point here, I'm, con I'm already connected and authenticated to my AKS cluster. That's the case for non-AD enabled clusters. But for this cluster, this one I have Azure Active Directory that is enabled and I can show you that on my Azure subscription and my Azure portal. So if I go to my AKS cluster to cluster configuration here, then you can see that I have here admin, Azure admin ID groups that was actually enabled and I'm binding into an Azure Active Directory group where I am already a user of in that uh, group. So when I go here to, to say kube control get nodes, because this is this have IAD enabled here it will ask me to re-authenticate to my Azure subscription using Azure Active Directory and I get that message here saying here I need to sign in using a web browser so I should open this web page and then use this code from here and use it to log in to my AKS cluster and the experience will look like this one so it should open a web browser and my machine so here it's going to microsoft.com slash device login. And then from here, it's asking for the code and then it will be asking for my email credentials and so on. So this is fine where, where when I am a user and I want to connect to that cluster, but this is not any good if I want to use this experience to connect to my AKS from a DevOps pipeline, for example, or when I want to use a service principle or a managed identity. So the option here would be to use the project cube login. So that's the option that I have here. And actually it will not be anymore an option. It will be an obligation. I should, I must use it in the future. So you see here in the warning saying to me that the Azure authentication plugin is deprecated starting from 122 and it will be unavailable starting of AKS with Kubernetes version 125 plus. So now I should be uh, I should be using the cube login instead of the AZ AKS get credentials command line. So I'll go to cancel that command and now I'll go to use the uh, cube login. So of course, first we need to install cube login, which I have already done on my machine and the steps to install it are available on the GitHub uh, repository page. So after installing, let's make sure that it was already installed. Let's make sure to type that correctly. And here, yes, it, have, it is installed on my machine. So now I can go to authenticate to AKS using cube login. So for that, I'll go here to use the command cube login, convert cube config and here dash L and the authentication method will be the Azure CLI. So this is telling cube login to use the current user because here I have done AZ login. So that's me connected to my Azure subscription to use the credentials from that uh, uh, Azure CLI session in order to authenticate to my AKS cluster. So that actually have, um, so now I'm connected to my AKS cluster. And I can check that if I test the connection using cube control get nodes. And yeah, here it did get my two nodes in this cluster. So when I run at cube config convert config, this is a verb actually convert that config file. It have made some changes to my config file. Let's preview these uh, changes. So I'll go to cat that uh, content of my cube config file where here I find the cluster, uh, cluster name and the context and so on. And then in the users, it will add this part right here exec so it's adding here the get token for the server id and then the login method is the azure cli and the command will be cube login so that's how those will be used by cube login in order to connect to my cluster and by the way cube login here i'm demoing it with uh, aks cluster but it works also with almost any kubernetes cluster because you have uh, here i'm showing the implementation for aks which is in the aks project in github but there are also another more general implementation for any aks cluster
So what is good here about Kubelogin is that here we, we was able to connect to our cluster without using the interactive mode. Here we are using the non-interactive mode, which is really important for the case of uh, uh, DevOps pipelines, for example. So that was how to connect to the cluster using my current Azure CLI credentials. We can also use an SPN, a service principle from Azure. And the way to do that is by using kubelogin, convert kubeconfig, and then we specify dash L SPN. And for using SPN, we need to provide also or to export the variables for the ID uh, service principle client ID and the client secret for my SPN and then kubelogin will be able to use those credentials in order to connect to my cluster. We can also use kubelogin with the managed identity. So with this simple command right here, we can go to say, um, it, we just changed the dash L with MSI for Microsoft service identity. And then we provide the client identity uh, ID which is the managed identity uh, client ID. If we are using system managed identity, we don't need to provide this as the machine uh, will uh, pick up the default system managed identity. Another option would be also to use the workload identity. I hope you liked this demo. More resources are available in this GitHub repository where I implement the different uh, commands that we have used today and the link for uh, getting to kubelogin project. Thank you.